Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Quinn. Welcome. Um, for today's video, I'm going to be DIYing a pearl mask chain. Um, I got inspired after watching the 2021 Chanel fashion show. There were a lot of pearl pieces that were so pretty. And then also G Dragon during one of the interview, he was also wearing these really big um, pearl cross body chain, which I thought was super cute and like cool looking. So that's how I got the idea of making pearl mask chain since we're wearing masks for the next months and probably like years. Might as well have fun with it. So if you guys are interested in trying to DIY this, this is gonna be really affordable as well, then continue watching. Also, full disclosure, I've never strung a bead, uh, pearl or anything like that. So hopefully it's gonna turn out good. Um, I have a good feeling it's gonna be good though. So, okay, moving on. To start off, you will need some type of beading wire. I got this one from Amazon. I will link it down below. I prefer to use a beading wire instead of threading for this project because you will be saving money on buying a threading needle. So that's why I got the wire. Any wire is fine. And then next, you will need a crimp tube. They look like this. Doesn't really matter what color it is because it's gonna be covered under a crimp bead. Anyways, I bought this one from Michaels. Next, you will need jump rings. They look like this. These are five millimeters. I bought these on Etsy. Next, you will need lobster claws and these are 15 millimeters. And then you will need um, little beads. This is optional. I want the little beads to go in between the pearls. So these are three millimeters. Bought that on Etsy as well. These I bought from Michaels. This is crimp bead cover. So basically after you crimp with, you crimp the wire with these crimping tube, you cover those with these. Next, you will need some pliers. So two pliers and then you need some kind of cutting wire cutting pliers or scissors is fine too and then a mask and then pearls so i got the 12 millimeter pearls on amazon i got 200 i think oh wait 500 of them so um i'll link that down below and then um some type of ruler or measuring tool so i have this but you can use like a ruler too if you want okay and then you will also be needing some type of thing for your string stopper i have these i don't know what they're called but these will work as well to hold down your wire so my mask chain is actually going to be 24 inch so you want your beading wire to be at least 24 inches and more mine's gonna be around like 38 inches long just to make sure and then i'm using this wire cutter to cut my wires you can use scissors so first clip one of these to the end of your beading string like this take one of your crimp tube put it through take the ends loop it back into it again and pull it like very close to the end very close like that Take a plier. There's actually crimping pliers made to crimp this bead together, but I don't really want to spend more money buying new pliers. So just take a normal plier. Make sure you only leave like a tiny little hole and then press it down really tight. And that should be secured. I left a little tail and now take a crimp bead cover. It looks like this. It looks like a circle with an open end. Hold it with your pliers and then put it through and close. I'm not sure why it's not closing all the way. There's still like a gap. Just shape it out. Just press on the side. This crimping bead is not going to be doing anything anyway. It's just gonna hide your crimp tube so it looks cuter. So now there's a bead instead of having that crimp tube. And see what I mean when the crimp tube color doesn't matter because this is what you will see. Take your pliers 
and open up the jump ring. So see, it's open now. Hook the jump ring onto that little hoop. Take your lobster clasp, put it onto the jump ring, and then close the jump ring. Close, oops. And this is what it looks like, see? Cute. Okay, now here's where the fun is gonna start. All right, this is one of our mask chain hook, right, on one side. Now we need to string in the beads. So I wanna have one of these small three millimeter beads next to this big bead. Find the end of this string, put it through, pull. See how there's two string? Put the baby bead into the other string as well. Now take your pearl and string it through. Take another three millimeter bead, pearl, bead. Make sure your pearl is going through the second string as well. And then you can cut it here. See how the string is so tiny now? Just. I want this to be in between the pearls, so take the string, snip it a, a little bit, string the pearl through. So, do you see what I'm going for? This is the design that we are doing. It'll be pearl, bead, pearl, bead, pearl, bead. And we're gonna do that all the way to the end, okay? I'm going to be fast forwarding or skipping through. And obviously, if you don't like the pearl bead pattern, you can always do just pearl. But this is the pattern that I'm going for, so that's what I'm gonna do. You don't want the golden bead in between, then you can just do all pearls. know I have an Etsy shop and I sell jewelry pieces like this necklace here so pretty this is one of my favorite necklace and then these starburst earrings and ring signet heart ring and this um, mini Gucci focus ring so if you guys are interested link is in the description follow my Instagram page and um, I'm thinking about also because I have a lot of extra pearl beads left. Do you guys think it'll be a good idea if I create some of the pearl beads mask and then sell them on Etsy? So just in case you don't want to DIY them, you can just purchase them online. My Etsy shop is down below, so check it out. So make sure that you stop and check on your chain measurements once in a while. So right now I'm like way over the length that I want to be. So I'm going to have to take some off. You, when you want to check, just clip this on the tail of your string so they stay in place and then measure up your and then measure up your beads. I want it to be at 24, so all of these will have to go back out. So I think stopping the beads at 24 is still too long. I'm going to take off about one inch for the lobster claw. So I'm going to take this out. If you want the same mass length as me, stop at 23 inch. Hey guys, so this is Future Quinn. I wanna jump back on here to show you how to properly close off the chain. I did it incorrectly in the original video and it was driving me nuts because I had this like gap in between my pearl and the way I closed it off was like so bad and so complicated. So I'm not even gonna show you that. Here, I'm gonna start and let's pretend like this is the end of the stringing, okay? Like this is the length that you want. And then um, now you're gonna add, so it's a pearl, so you're gonna add your little gold bead. And then after you add that, you want to, and this is just like a pretend strain, right? And then next you add a crimp tube and then take a close, see it's closed now, jump ring, Add that to the wire and now take the wire and loop it into the crimp tube and then you want to pull it really tightly 
See how it's all tight and down to the base now? Really tight, okay? So you wanna pull it really tight like that. So take your crimping pliers and you wanna go into that crimp tube and then you wanna press it down, just like how we did in the beginning to secure the crimp. And then you want to then, and I'm obviously not gonna do it live because this is just a pretend strand. After it's secured, you add on the little crimp cover you would just like add it onto here and then you use your pliers you crimp it all around to close it and then you would then open up that okay let's just pretend here okay it's gonna go loose but you're going to open up obviously it's gonna be secure in the real example but you're gonna open up the jump ring and then you're going to add in your lobster claw and boom that's it that's gonna be finished and okay so one more thing you're gonna have this like wire sticking out you can string this wire back through the beads so like you can like string it through the gold bead down to the pearl down all the way through so you can just get your snipper and then like, snip it off but obviously after you crimp the wire tug on it to make sure that's secured so now you're gonna go back into the real video but this is how you should close off your pearl so then you don't have any loose uh, string space in between all right moving on back to the video so you can see here this pearl mask is exactly 24 inch with the claps hate that there's a little space there but whatever and i'm gonna try it on you guys this is the finish look look how beautiful this is so pretty i legit have like nowhere to film so i have to do my outro right here um basically i want to show you the finish pearls they look like this. It looks so much better in person on camera. I don't know why it looks like really washed out. So I'm gonna try it on so you guys can see. Basically wear it like this. And then it hangs like in the front. You can wear it in the front like this. Or flip it to the back and then tear out. I think this way looks really cute because it kind of looks like earrings I think this is a better way to wear it because it's like not excessive it's kind of cute and then if you want and if you don't want to wear your mask you can drop it it was just chill and it'll hang but yeah anyways that's it for this video um, if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up I think it turned out pretty well I think you can wear this as a necklace too Oh, this would be a good size necklace. This is cute. Comment down below. Let me know if you want me to do more DIY with pearls. Um, anyways, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. If you haven't already, click the post notification bell to get notified when I post next. Check out my Etsy shop. Link in the description. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.